Hi guys, it's Jenny Belly. Where I'm currently staying, um, I'm currently on holiday. I probably won't be by the time I upload this, but I am currently on holiday. Um, and where I'm currently staying, I am surrounded by birds. And that's been such a big thing for me in 2014. Every single day I seem to have been surrounded by birds. And this place that I've come to particularly just seems to be a bird sanctuary. I've seen hawks, I've seen buzzards, I've seen wagtails, I've seen field fares, I've seen pheasants, I've seen uh, swifts, I've seen swallow, I've just seen loads and loads of birds. And I can hear rookeries and I go to sleep listening to owls and I wake up with a rooster. <laughs> so I'm obviously near a farm somewhere. So I wanted to do a page uh, kind of in my travel journal dedicated to birds. So this is the page that I'm showing you now. I will show you um, this travel, this is my travel journal and I will probably show you this in another video and maybe my art kit that I put together for this holiday. But what you can see me doing at the minute is using acrylic um, and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water. <laughs> I'm basically doing like um, what you would maybe do with watercolour, like a wash. So it's it's quite, an, uh, quite a transparent layer. Um, of colour. I just want something in the background. I don't want it to overpower but I do want some interest in the background so I'm picking my favourite colours, the blues, the purple, the pinks and using lots and lots and lots of water. And then on top of the acrylic what I'm going to do is use Neocolor 2's while it's still wet and just splatter the page so that there's going to be like a blotchy kind of organic watery look to the background and then once that layer has dried because obviously if you do splatters on top of an already wet, wet background it's the splatters aren't going to be very um, prominent they're going to merge together which is what I want but I also want some splatters so I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to put down another layer of splatters with the Neocolor 2's that will, will be more evidently splattery <laughs> um, I'm using again blues, purples, pinks and then I'll also go in and use just um, like um, a grassy or or limey colour green to give it um, just a little point of reference, only a little bit of the green but I just felt like it needed a bit of lifting with a different colour besides these three that I've been using. But again I just wanted a very nice simple background uh, so that I could paint on top of this without it detracting but it's still being a pretty pretty background. I wanted pretty colours for a pretty page. No other reason than that. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and draw some birds. Um, I don't really draw uh, very much if I'm going to paint. I don't bother sketching very much so as you'll see I'll just do a vague outline and then I'll go in with the paint straight away. Again I'm going to use acrylic for it but the reason I do that is when I'm painting I just seem to be able to prefer I just prefer defining giving detail through the paint I don't like doing a whole big sketch and then painting over the sketch if I'm going to do a sketch then I'll put some detail into the sketch but if I'm going to paint it then I tend to um like to just go along with the painting itself and you know and not be too detailed with it I mean I don't have points of reference while I'm making these birds um strangely I did take away, if I share the kit you'll see, I did take away some vintage ephemera which was map pages, some text pages and on some of the text pages were some illustrated birds so I did have kind of, I didn't paint the birds in the poses that were on the pages and I didn't paint the same birds so you know I'm, I'm kind of going, it's not accurate, I'm going out of my head but um, I did have them to kind of look and keep the bird in proportion, if you see what I mean. Uh, but anyway, yes, so that's what I like to do with the paint, with acrylic. I tend to just um, do the detail as I build upon it. And I'll come back in and I'll go out again as I'm creating other things. You'll see I'll paint other things on the page. I'm going to paint some branches. And as I paint branches, um, what I like to do is hold the brush kind of in the middle or towards the top and just twizzle the brush. If you watch how I do it, I twizzle it 
um, so that it gives kind of a, an organic, branchy, wiggledy piggledy kind of look to <laughs> to your to your trees and your branches. And if the brush, if you hold it a bit too loosely and the brush goes away with you a little and you get like a, a big bump in there that you don't think would necessarily be on a on a tree really, you know, it's a bit too much of a kink or a bump. You might have seen I did that at the top branch and what I did is I just turned that into a fork. So you can get around it even if you make a mistake. That's the perfect time to do more branches, make them split off and splinter off. So I'm going to add shading and as you'll see, I'm creating these different elements. I'm going to go back into the birds at different points. Depends what paints I've got on my brush and I'll just flip between them. Um, and when I paint another bird, I'll do the same again. <laughs> I'll just keep bitting at them, I guess. Just enjoying myself. I don't have lo a lot of time to create while I'm here, but I do have some time. So this is so far the most arty page I've managed to kind of get in. The others have been more of what my other travel journals tend to look like. And if I do a flip, you'll see. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about there. But I just wanted to spend some time doing some specific art, I guess it is, specific art about a purpose. I've done some art, I've done some backgrounds, and I've done some other bits and pieces just to keep, you know, a little bit of a creative side up where I can, you know, just do it for two minutes before I go out somewhere. Um, and it doesn't really matter. I can just leave it there, let it dry, and then I'll come back. Um, later on when I'm back and maybe do a little bit more to it but that isn't um, creating anything to do with this holiday which is why I've done this travel journal and really why I want to do these birds I think having the, the topic of birds has been in my head for a while just because they've been such a prominent thing uh, for me this year so I took some majority of pens that I took with me were black pens and I also took um, some white pens just for the definition here for ease and again with the colours that I took um, for making these pages and things I took some of my favourite colours and then I just took the basics the browns and the blacks and things I'm using on the birds um, just so I could use everything out of the pot, I'm not mixing any colours. And as you can see with this bird, I decided to just do a vague outline with pencil and then just gesso in a, basically a template, a bird for me to build upon. So yeah, I didn't I didn't take any anything um everything easy, basically. I took I took things I could just put the brush right into and and not really worry um, about art taking a very long time. Like I say, it was nice to sit down there and actually do do some proper <laughs> art. Um, here I'm just using the, the brush to make some feathers and then on the wings and then when you'll see I'll go into the body I'll just kind of do a stippling effect. I don't know if this is how birds actually look. <laughs> As I say, I'm not too too bothered about that. They don't still stand still long enough for you to blum and paint them, so I have to go <laughs> go with what I think. Again, I'm using quite a fat brush at the minute. I'm just using the brush to put some feathery type type looking bits to the tail and things. Um, but I will go in with a, a smaller brush and do the details of the shading and the eyes and bits and pieces like that. And then once I've um, done with this little bird, I'll go in and do some outline with black around the page because I'm really liking outlining everything at the minute. <laughs> you might have noticed if um, you have seen some videos of mine recently, either here or on journal workshops or whatever, I like to outline my pages quite a lot at the minute. So here I'm just going to use um, some black outline just because I think that 
the colours are quite bright and light and everything else, so it needs pulling in with some... I mean, the background's quite light and bright, and it needs pulling in uh, with some black, I think. And then I'm going in with my black pens to do outlines of the birds and the branches and everything. I decide at this point that I want some definition to it but I want it to be sketchy. So you'll probably see that I actually go round them a few times and and kind of go out of the lines and stuff so that it's kind of a sketchy, sketchy look. And then around the outside, again a few times so that it's sketchy messy, let's call it that, sketchy messy. I think that's everything. Oh, I'm doing the writing, yeah. The um, writing, as you can probably see, I just did a quick brief outline with pencil as to where I wanted the letters to be so I could get them in in the right spaces. And that's it, I think. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye. I'm